For more on this, I spoke with Telly Whitney. She's the CEO at the Anita Borg Institute for Women and Technology. She spoke with us from Houston, Texas. That's where the 2015 Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing is taking place. I began by asking her why more women aren't entering the tech field. Yes, it's fascinating. It's about 18% overall right now of computer science grads are women. And, um, and they, I mean, the number of jobs are exploding. 62% of the STEM jobs are expected to be in computing over the next 20 years. Um, why do women choose to not participate? I don't think it's considered cool. Um, there's that when the image of what a computer scientist is is not very attractive. It's sitting, it's usually white male sitting in front of a computer. Um, they're, you know, young girls, their peers aren't interested in it. They do not see any role models. Um, and so they don't see a future for themselves. Well, I know that we've talked about STEM programs, especially for young girls, but not necessarily for women. So what do you think colleges can do to really push to recruit more women to enter the tech field? Well, there's a revolution going on right now. And there's a number of universities that have close to 50% of their computer science grads I mean, computer science students as women. And we see a couple of things that work. One is um, one of the things that some of these colleges do is bring a lot of their freshman students to the Grace Hopper celebration. So get them early and give them some role models and allow them to transition into computing. The second thing is to look at the introductory introduction to computer science. Many of these first classes include boys primarily who've been programming since they were 10 years old. But, and so they turn off potential students. And if you have different entry classes for those that have not programmed before and those that have, it can make a world of difference. Now, as you mentioned, a lot of colleges are, are increasingly having these programs. And we mentioned the University of Washington, which has been getting more women to graduate in this field and transition into the tech sector. What other college programs do you think could boost women's enrollment into tech? Well, you know, I, I, I applaud University of Washington. They are one of our um, beacon schools in a program called BRAID that is working with 15 universities to, to make the change. Harvey Mudd College is a small college in Southern California that has close to 50% by doing some of the things that I just mentioned. Stanford just announced that computer science is the top major for their women um, undergraduates for the first time ever. MIT has also done a great job of attracting more women. Would you say that the college recruitment push, is that the best way to get women into the tech field? Well, I mean, in terms of getting them into the tech field, no, college recruiting isn't the best way. There's some great programs that are reaching down into K through 12. Girls Who Code has had some great successes, um, as have code.org in terms of changing the K through 12 education and getting to girls and boys much younger. I also think that companies are, um, that come to places like the Grace Hopper Celebration or, this, or SWE, where there are a lot of women, um, in order to let them know how important they are to, to these companies' success in the future. Now, when we look at the companies and organizations that are recruiting from these college programs, are there any specific companies that are really leading the way? Well, at the Grace Hopper Celebration, we have hundreds of companies who are here specifically to recruit young women. Um, but we work closely with Google, who is, for, as one example, who is really committed to, um, to increasing the diversity and to hiring more women. I also think that Microsoft has been had major investment in terms of hiring women. But other companies that are here include Intel, um, Symantec, you know, uh, many, many, you know, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, all of whom have large technical workforces and want more women. And is there anything that you'd like to share in terms of, if you're speaking to someone who maybe doesn't understand the value of having more women entering computer science degree, um, entering into the computer science world or the world of IT, what, what would you tell them to really drive the message home about why it's so important to have more women in the field? You know, most of the important problems of the next generation are 
coming from technologies. These are the things that, that will change all of our lives. And it makes no sense that to not include 50% of the population. Many of the companies that I know are looking to have more women because their customers are often half women. And they need to have people who are creating technologies mirror the people they serve. Thanks again to Telly Whitney. You can see more of my interview with her on our website. I asked her about the changes major tech companies can make to not only recruit, but to keep more women working for them. It's our one more question on cctv-america.com. <laughs>